Hi guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators, where we preserve through storytelling. Uh, today I've got a really interesting episode that was uh, done for us by Brother David Connolly. Uh, he piqued my interest when he told me about his collection of Masonic razors. Uh, now being a person who collects antique razors and restores them and uses them, uh, is really into the art of the shave, that kind of thing. I thought it would be really cool to get him on the program and tell us a little bit about his collection of Masonic razors. So here now we will go right to his video and uh, I will also inlay a few of the pictures that he took of his uh, collection that I'll overlay over the top for you so you can get a little bit better of a look. So enjoy. Hello, my name is David Connolly, and at the time of filming this, I'm an entered apprentice with Lodge Capital number 612 in Canberra, Australia. Uh, I'm filming this today to show you my small collection of Masonic shaving gear. The first razor I'd like to show you is this. This is a 1922 Ever Ready Sports Set. Now, that was called the Sports Emblem Set because you had various organisations whose emblem you could have put on the case, and there are several variants out there that have no emblem. So you've got everything ranging from Elks through Shriners, Blue, Land, uh, Blue Lodge, and that sort of thing. So inside you've got a standard unmodified uh, Ever Ready safety razor. In order to use that one, simply take the handle, screw it into the base plate, Open the lid, take one of your Ever Ready blades, slide it down into the groove, and lock it in place. Second razor I'd like to show you is my Gillette New. This is a 1924 manufacture for the Ararat Temple. Uh, it's essentially a very standard Gillette New, it's a long comb head. Uh, but it does have the Shriners emblem embossed onto the box, the blade box, as well as, as you can see, on the case. So to use this one here, simply take the handle out. Now this is a three-piece razor, so you would take your blade, line it up onto the plate, Put the base on top and then screw on the handle. Next is a Joseph Rogers and Sons straight razor. Uh, if I can get the camera to focus properly. The iconography on this is very similar to um, the Wade and Butcher straights that you'll find. Finding one in good condition has proven very challenging. Um, on the blade tang, it says Joseph Rogers and Sons, uh, cutlers to their majesty. And from my research online, that suggests that it could be made anywhere from 1840 through to 1860. Uh, unfortunately, their dating system isn't great. So uh, trying to get any more information on that, seems to be quite challenging. This particular razor doesn't actually seem like it's been honed ever. Um, so this one here is horn scales and a carbon steel blade that's been well looked after. Thank you very much. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Be sure to join us next time right here on Masonic Curators. And like and subscribe and share with your friends so they can check out these awesome videos. Thanks again, guys.